welcome to my study here in Vickers Court in Southwell for what we hope will be the first of a series of reflections for Sundays and Holy Days during this time when we're unable to worship together in the Minster. It may well seem to many of us that over the last week or so our world has got quite a bit smaller. Restrictions have been placed one by one on our everyday lives so that now at this time, yes, none of us, not even those of us who are clergy, are able to worship in church. This is particularly difficult and sad at the church's holiest time of year as we approach Holy Week and Easter, the events that take us to the heart of our faith. Today is also a major feast day in the church's year. Today is the Feast of the Annunciation, nine months before Christmas, when we remember and celebrate the visit of the Archangel Gabriel to Mary, kicking off the chain of events that leads to Good Friday and then to Easter Day. The chain of events that brings about the salvation of the world. Reading the story of the Annunciation, Again yesterday, though, in St Luke's Gospel, I was struck by what a domestic and in some ways what a constricted scene it is. Here are some words from St Luke, chapter 1. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph. Now Nazareth was a tiny town, a real nowhere place, and Mary herself was someone of no importance or family, probably a young girl. We know nothing of her background. Some artistic depictions of the Annunciation emphasise the domesticity, even the intimacy of this scene by placing it in a very tight domestic setting, in some cases even in Mary's bedchamber. The point is clear. The coming of God to earth begins in one of earth's littlest corners. Theologians call this the scandal of particularity. The idea that the God of the universe chooses to come to earth at a very specific point in time and space. The infinite chooses to become utterly finite. And it is in that particular time and space that the redemption of the world begins. Here am I, the servant of the Lord, says Mary, let it be with me according to your word. Mary says yes to God's invitation and the world shifts on its axis. Nothing will ever be the same again. Now it might seem to us at this moment for quite different reasons that nothing will ever be the same again. For these next few weeks we have one very specific task, to stay at home. But never think that by staying at home, that means that God can't be with you, that he can't meet you, call you and change you. In these next few weeks, in the domesticity, the everydayness, the simplicity of our homes, may we, with Mary, learn the art of saying yes to God. Amen. And happy Feast of the Annunciation.